A local mayor was back on the stand this morning. He testified in the case underway for Virginia's former first couple. Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms was in Richmond. He gave more information about whether or not Bob and Maureen McDonald properly reported loans. The couple is on trial for corruption after reports they used their political position to help the CEO of a pharmaceutical company promote his products. Our Andy Fox heard the testimony today. He has a live report with the latest, and Andy Sessoms himself said McDonald's a dear friend. This really couldn't have been easy for him. Oh, it's been a very difficult thing for Will Sessoms and also for Bob McDonald to put his friend through this. But this has been a very anti-Bob and Maureen McDonald trial so far, of course, because the prosecution's been on. If they have had a best day yet, today might have been it. Will Sessoms got on the stand and said because these were undocumented loans from Johnny Williams, that they were not personally guaranteed by Bob McDonald. They did not need to be declared to town bank with their other loans that they had with the bank. The first to arrive at federal court, Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms, a longtime friend of Bob McDonald. Mayor Sessoms, what more will you say about the loans today? He was followed shortly by Bob McDonald, who claims he did not need to report a Johnny Williams loan on his personal financial statement to Sessoms Bank. Governor, are you putting yeah, Will morning. Sessoms in a difficult position with what he's having to testify against his friend? Uh, no, we'll have uh, more testimony today. And uh, whoop. This has got a long way to go. McDonald argues he did not need to report that $50,000 loan to a business he and his sister have because he did not personally guarantee that loan from Johnny Williams. It wasn't in his name. It was in the company's name. When asked by McDonald's attorney whether that is right, Sessoms answered, correct. We questioned Sessoms about that. Mayor, did he have to report the loan? You know, I, the testimony, you, you all heard it, and now it's for the jury to make those decisions. I'm delighted that this is over with and I look forward to getting back to Virginia Beach and I just wish the best I can uh, to Bob McDonald. But because he did not personally guarantee the loan, did he have to report it? I think uh, you heard my testimony. And as you heard Mayor Sessom say, the jury now must weigh what has been said. Yes, Will Sessom said this, but how does the 12-person jury feel about that? They may very well feel that if you have a, a, a loan that has been given to you, whether it's documented or undocumented, you're still responsible for it. That's what the jury must wrestle with, and that's what prosecutors are putting out there, saying that, indeed, Bob McDonald orchestrated this loan from Johnny Williams and is therefore responsible for it and responsible to report it. Now, Barbara Tierney, who worked as a senior credit analyst at Town Bank, testified, and I'm going to read this, that the government, the governor listed nothing beneath the categories, these are the categories, other loans payable, this was on the documentation, liabilities of proprietorships or liabilities of partnerships, joint ventures. The jury could very well think that certainly what Johnny Williams gave the McDonald's came under one of those categories and therefore should have been reported. Now, we know from prosecutors today that they could very well rest tomorrow. There is a motion that needs to be taken up Friday and that Bob McDonald's defense could begin on Monday. That's the latest from Richmond at Federal Courthouse. Andy Fox, 10 on your side. And you can check back tonight for another full report from Andy on the trial. Our next newscast starts at 4. Our coverage of the McDonald's trial continues online. We have a special page dedicated to what's happening in Richmond. Go there for a timeline of the trial and all of the latest developments.